WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. Monday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got a mixed market to start things off. Right now, we're looking at the Dow Jones off 80 points, trading at 27,600. S&P is negative by 10, trading at 3,082. NASDAQ negative by 31 points, trading at 84.43. And we got the Russell off almost 6 tenths percent, or 9 points in the red, trading at 15.89. We'll start things off and jump over to the VIX this morning, getting a little bit of price escalation in the volatility index, as you might expect as we get some a little bit of fear. We got some Hong Kong violence, unfortunately, going on with protests over there. That market down almost 3%, so that may be hitting the markets across in the U.S. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Markets open today. Bond market closed today. VIX trading 1331. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow, currently trading 27,552. I say a mixed market at the top of the update because, yeah, the markets are in the red, but just even since the market opened this morning, we've traded from 27,474 up almost 100 points now, 27,548. NASDAQ 100 getting a little bit of a pop. That big bar at 945, trading from 8207 to 8226, currently right at that level in the NASDAQ 100. There's your S&P 500 trading at 3,081, was as low as about 3,074 coming into the 930 opening bell bar. Crude oil catching quite a bit in the last hour as well. We were down there at $56.33. Crude, December crude now trading above $57. Gold contract under $14.60 now, trading at $14.59. Gold been at, had been as high as $14.67 just before 6 a.m. this morning. And the euro U.S. dollar trading at $110.34. In terms of what other news you have out there this morning, Southwest and, and American Airlines extending the Boeing 737 MAX cancellations until early March. This one particularly intriguing. We were talking a lot about Boeing last week on the show. Boeing saying that they may have those airplanes up in the air before the end of 2019. Boeing down about 1.3%. You have Walgreens Boots catching quite a bid as they get a formal offer from KKR, 5.3%. And how about as we wrap things up, let me find it. You want to talk about big numbers. Alibaba, $30 billion in sales for Singles Day. Stay tuned, folks. I'm coming back at 10 o'clock with Basil Chapman. We'll be right back.